Hello there, Veena here from digitalaccesspass.com and this is part one of a two-part series where I'll show you how you can track your email stats using DAP, Amazon SNS and Amazon SES. So in this video, I'll talk to you about all the basic concepts, why you need an SNS account and also how SNS and SES communicate with each other and also how you can get DAP to communicate with SES, SNS and track stats. And in the next video, I'll take you behind the scenes to show you how to set this all up. So what is SNS? SNS stands for Simple Notification Service, and uh, it's a web service that coordinates and manages the delivery or sending of messages to subscribing endpoints. And what that means is basically it sends out a webhook notification to the endpoints that have subscribed to it. So when events like opens, clicks, bounced emails, any of those events happen, then as long as you have subscribed to that communication channel, which is SNS. So SNS is nothing but a communication channel. So as long as you have subscribed to that channel and you have specified the URL of the script to which a notification should be sent when any of these events happen, like opens, clicks, bounces, and all of that, uh, then when that event happens, SNS will send out a notification to that URL and that allows DAP to track stats. So here publisher is DAP and Amazon SES. So you need to create an SNS account. There are two things you need to do in your SNS account. You need to create a topic, which is nothing but a communication channel, give your topic a name. Next thing you need to do is create a subscription. Basically by subscribing to the topic, you are saying, I am interested in all the events that happen in this uh, communication channel, like opens, clicks. So let me know of all those events. And when you're creating a subscription, it will ask you for the endpoint URL. So there you can enter the URL of the DAP tracking script. So when you enter that URL, whenever an event happens, like opens, clicks and all that, that URL will be notified and that's the DAP tracking URL. So it allows DAP to track stats. And then in your Amazon SES account, you need to create a configuration set. The configuration set is basically going to allow SES to connect to SNS. So in the configuration set, you need to enter the SNS topic name. And this way, SES will know how to talk to that communication channel. And then in, um, in DAP setup config page, you can specify the configuration set name. So when you set up a broadcast message in DAP, DAP is going to use SES to send the emails if SES is your SMTP server. And in the message header, DAP will insert the configuration set name. So when SES receives a notification, it looks at the configuration set and it knows what's the topic, what's the communication channel uh, for that configuration set. So when events happen, that topic, that communication channel is notified. And because you have created a subscription and you have entered a DAP URL as an interested endpoint for events that happen in that channel, uh, DAP will be notified and that allows DAP to track stats. I hope this was helpful. In the next video, I'll take a behind the scenes to uh, show you how to set this all up. My name is Veena Prashant. Bye for now.